you have actually requested to have a video rather than blog post. So in this video I'll show you what did I pack for my 32 hours in Singapore. So let's get into it. We are actually at the moment in Malaysia, not in Singapore. And everything about what actually happened to us and why we're in Malaysia rather than in Singapore, you can find out in our other channel. Stick with us, I'll link it down below. Or you can click, I'll try to put it somewhere here. You can find out what happened to us. You can see what we did in our 32 hours in Singapore. But now let's get into what I packed for those 32 hours. I will start with clothes and I actually think I have overpacked. <laughs> it sounds kind of funny, but I think I have overpacked. Firstly, I packed these dress which I'm wearing, which are super cute, they're from Beach Sissy. I'll link everything down below, so if you like any clothes, so make sure you check it out. I have actually picked two pair of dress for two days. Barely two days and I picked like so much clothes. <laughs> Just way too much. So my next dress I've picked so like that. But that moment when I actually were in the city in Singapore and everybody has like business clothes and I came like wearing things like I'm in Hawaii for the next time I'll wear more like casual and city clothes. The next thing I've packed was a skirt which I need to iron. So one skirt if just in case I wouldn't want to wear a dress and my airport clothes. I really like to wear comfy clothes at the airport for sure. I would probably wear a different top. I pick this top, but usually at the airport or for the plane, I would pick something more comfy like hoodies. So maybe I can like pair this one with with this skirt. You know, it looks very cute together. So that's kind of like what I could be wearing in the city and my comfy. Okay, bless me. Um, my comfy pants, actually these are from H&M and yeah, I like them, they're very comfy. So the next thing, I almost forgot but it would be a big mistake because I can't get around without my sweater. The next thing I packed was sleeping clothes, so regular shorts. This time I picked for sleeping clothes just my regular top. Um, the next thing I brought just in case, bikini, and I love these, they look super cute. Like I, when I saw them first I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna look like a Barbie, or, but they look super cute and I love them. But yeah, I'll link them down below as well, they're very nice. Yeah, that's it for the clothes. Actually, I obviously have my underwear and my socks. I have some straps for my bra. I actually like to reuse all the bags. This will be for my clothes. That's literally all I got and I swear I feel like I have overpacked it. But this for barely two days. I think it's way too much and I haven't even wear half of it. So next time I know I need to pack less. <laughs> but I like to be prepared and to have like spare clothes just in case or for different occasions which is very hard when you just literally go for two days and you don't know even like kind of like what to expect or where you're going because we haven't really planned where we're gonna go or what the weather gonna be like so yeah and as a one little detail I brought my hat it's a very nice detail for like your outfits for the pictures it was actually super windy yesterday so it was kind of annoying because I needed to catch it like 10 times I packed everything in my old backpack from Nike I have it for like so many years and I definitely need to upgrade so if you have any idea for some nice cute travel backpack so I don't look like so sporty so I can wear for example dress and the backpacks let me know in the comment or message me whatever so that's all I packed in just a little backpack it fits so much stuff and besides my backpack I brought with me a small little handbag which I just love and it's super cute and I bought it in Thailand and you cannot fit much but at least like your phone, money, passport because I usually don't have pockets when I'm wearing like dress so I need to have something like on me so I can just grab it I thought it's gonna be a very short video and it feels like it's gonna get a little bit longer but I hope you don't mind my next thing I just love to carry everywhere with me 
diaries or journals, planner or something like that. I just need to have it. Especially now, we have decided to write down our budget, like how much do we spend daily and how much do we save as well. So I like to write it down everything. I know you can use your phone. I just like it on the paper and I will always stick to diaries. And this one actually says, no matter where I go, travel is my destination. Next thing, I love my pencil case. I have bought it back in Florida and ever since I travel, I literally just stick it everywhere. <laughs> I had like pencil and pants all over my bag and it gets messy. So yeah, I will link it again down below. It's just from Amazon. Next thing, I'm obsessed lately. It's my Kindle. I take it everywhere with me. It's very light. This one is actually waterproof. It's the new version. I think it's called Kindle Waterproof and then I'll link it down below and it's been my best friend. I don't have to carry book and it has actually a very like long lasting battery so you can always just connect to Wi-Fi, download book and also a Kindle doesn't have a blue light so your eyes are protected and yeah I just love it it's very handy it was definitely worth it to purchase if you're a book lover like me get it I'll link it down below I have my travel document holder this is from my friend Tao so Tao thank you I'm still carrying with me everywhere I go and my wallet next thing is my Lila things what I'm always having in my like front backpack pocket so I can just grab it. So it's my tissues, then watch, my airpods, that's like my lifesaver. <sighs> I couldn't live without airpods. This is actually my second one. The first one I forgot on the beach in Florida and I came there next morning and obviously I think the water just took it because it was low tide and the next morning it was high tide so I'm like god damn it. And hand sanitizer, hairbrush my favorite bamboo hairbrush. I got some makeup. I feel like I can't live without eyeshadows. I'm just carrying eyeshadows everywhere I go, <laughs> pretty much. So this is my favorite Too Faced Natural Lust palette. It's very like natural, but you have like very dark and very pinky. I definitely love this palette. The next thing, I have my makeup bag. I have actually some makeup. I don't know if you would like me to go through it, but I have like just the thing what I'm using on daily basis. So I have my Mary Kay primer. I have my Mary Kay CC cream. And yeah, I'm obsessed with those. Then I have my NYX concealer. Then I have another concealer that's for your spots. And then I have powder from NYX and brush brushes. Then I have my eyebrow pen, again from NYX. Then I brought one lipstick from MAC. This one is like natural color, which I am wearing right now. And I have my mascara from Maybelline. It's the Great Lush deodorant. Then I have some hair ties. And I bought this one, it's so cute. I love it. And then I have some floss. I have toothbrush and toothpaste in the bathroom. I have chopstick. Just my camera, stop recording. Then I have my camera, microphone, and my tripod then I have like you know different kind of charges cords you know for charging the charger then my portable charger and I definitely recommend it it lasts for like maybe four charges this one is called Kumashi Kumashi I don't know if I pronounce it correctly but it's from Amazon the next thing which is very handy is adapter this is just for USB in different countries you have different outlets and as you travel more you know what I'm talking about it's my lifesaver it has two USBs Europe America or Australia when you can just twist it England yeah Besides my camera, I have GoPro with a little tripod. All of the vlogs and everything will be recorded on mostly our GoPro and our camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you like it, if you would pack anything like this, or would you pack more, would you pack less? Is there anything which you would pack which I didn't and maybe would make my life easier and it's very handy and I could bring it next time let me know please in the comment down below and let me know if you like this video if you would like to see more like from my travels and I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my Instagram and our website I'll link everything down below and I hope I'll see you in the next video bye